KO Artist Sports with uh, the great Matt Hughes, former UFC uh, welterweight champion uh, here at the La Mirada uh, Grand Opening. Uh, tell me, man, what are you up to uh, nowadays in uh, your retirement? Um, helping the UFC out as much as I can. I'm, they gave me a title and a, a kind of a paycheck, so whenever they call, that I always I always show up. So, so there was a grand opening going on here, and I enjoy those. There's there's just a lot going on at oh. these things, and they're. they're I like meeting the fans. My philosophy is the fans want an autograph or a picture. Those people wrote a check or paid for a live event ticket or a pay-per-view, and that money trickled down into my pocket. So I owe all these fans something. You know, that's the kind of the way I look at it. Some guys get sick of signing autographs and taking pictures. Those are the people that are writing your paychecks. Right, exactly. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. It's a, it's a great uh, stance to have. I also see on your uh, social media you're, you're big on hunting. Uh, is there like a like a prize game? So if at this point that you're like, that's like the best one so far. Is there ones that you're still kind of lo looking at uh, that you still need to get? I don't. I hunt. I've been hunting for the last, t we'll say, 10 years. And I haven't even hit the surface on what's out there to hunt. I, I actually, I was, I've been in New Zealand the last 12 days. Oh. And I flew straight from New Zealand to L.A., did this and I'll go home finally to my family tomorrow morning. But I was so I was in New Zealand and hunted a lot. But there's stuff that I've never even seen before right. that other people have killed. Right, so right. they don't even know about. So yeah, there's a lot of hunters that's killed a lot more stuff than me. Right, right. People are kind of against hunting, but hunting's actually a pretty good thing. When I go out looking for my big trophies, I want the oldest bull I can find. And when you kill the oldest bull, he's probably been kicked out of the herd. He's not reproductive anymore. And you want the young ones to grow up. So you want to shoot the old ones, let the young ones grow up. Right, right, yeah. Um, you're uh, definitely in great shape. Uh, uh, a lot of fighters uh, that you share the octagon with are like rumored to make comebacks, making comebacks. You, you want to go ahead and just announce your comeback right now? I'd love to come back. <laughs> I, um, and I'm being real honest, I'm, I miss it in there. You know, my whole life has always been competition. Whether it be my twin brother growing up on a farm, wrestling through high school and college, I took this sport up just to compete. Didn't think I was going to be a world champion. Didn't know I was going to make enough money to retire at 39. Didn't know I was couldn't walk through an airport without somebody saying, hey, are you, are you Matt Hughes? I just wanted to have fun. And um, the pieces kind of fell together for me, and I got lucky. Uh, a, a lot of fighters, like I said, uh, GSPs, saying kind of rumor to come back in uh, uh, UFC 200. Uh, BJ Penn's talking about coming out. Kind of what's, what's your, opinion, your take on that? I see both those in two different ways. BJ... He's going out with a loss, come back, you know, get your hand in the air. I'd love to come back and get my hand in the air. I just, uh, I'm, I'm just a little too old, you know. It, it bothers me every day that I didn't go out with my hand in the air. So I agree with, with, with uh, BJ, you know, he went out on a loss. George, I I'm kind of don't understand it. Uh, he's go he went out with a win, he's made some good money. Uh, now I, I, you know, I've heard some of the opponents he's kind of wanting. I don't know, you know. I just, I just, I maybe don't agree with that, but that's his decision to make, not mine. I definitely want to get your take on the welterweight division right now. Uh, Robbie Lawler is the champ. Robbie, who? Not, I don't know if I've heard of that guy. <laughs> <laughs> that, uh, um, what? Uh, who do you think should get the next shot at the title? Well, I, I, I thought it was kind of promised to Tyron Woodley, you know. So Johnny Hendricks didn't make weight and Tyron and Johnny were going to fight. That fight didn't happen, so I thought I kind of thought it went to, to, uh, to a Tyron. So I, I think he's got the next shot, but I don't, I don't know. For those of you who don't know, uh, I started training in Iowa, in Robbie Lawler's hometown. When I was training there, I'd go to high school wrestling practice when Robbie was still in high school and worked out with Robbie while he was in high school. So that was, I've, I've known Robbie's family. He's a brother. Robbie called me up for anything. And I'll, I'll treat him like family, because he is family. That's awesome. That's a great story. Uh, another big welterweight matchup, uh, McDonald versus uh, Thompson. Um, how do you see that going? Be interesting to see Thompson again. You know, I'd like to, I'd like to see him compete. Uh, Rory always has a great game plan. So it, it, that's an interesting bout for me. It's one that I'll be paying attention. Um, with Robbie being family, I always stay a hold of the division. See who's got strengths and weaknesses, and, and you know everybody has strengths and weaknesses, and everybody has tendencies, and that's how you pick up on how to beat somebody. 
is is there a fighter for you or, or a division for you that you're like like must see TV for you? I mean, obviously you said Robbie's your your you know family, uh, maybe besides him, but like a fighter that you're just maybe as a fan you're like man, I, I need to see that person. I like I like the welterweight division. Um, I I was there. Uh, those are the people I know, so I, I always keep track of that one. But if it's one fighter that I, I watch, it's Demetrius Johnson. Demetrius, to me, is the pound for pound best in the world. Yeah. He is. So oh, yeah. he's somebody, when he turns it on, I can guarantee I'm going to be entertained and love watching his technical side in there because he's very technical. So oh, he's definitely by the book. He's, like you said, the pound for pound the best. How do you see that fight with the Segura going for, for him? Uh, you know, his coach, Matt Hume, is one. I would say maybe even the best cornerman out there. So they'll come up with a great game plan, and Demetrius can fight anywhere. So it's whatever they come up with. That's where the probably the fight's going to take place. <laughs> and you know, Matt, uh, Matt Hume is so well that he'll say, "Hey, maybe he starts out slow. Have a stay on your feet the first round, and when he starts to pick up in the second round, we're going to take him down." So every round could be a different game plan for those guys, and that's the way you've got to do it because. Like I said, everybody has tendencies. So um, if he starts out real hot the first round on his feet, maybe Matt will say to take him down the first round, stand up within the second round. So we don't know what's going to happen every round, but I can guarantee you they'll come in with a good game plan. And, you know, uh, Demetrius is an executioner. He gets done what needs to be done for the game plan. So I don't see anybody beating him. I don't. <laughs> yeah, I no, hope I don't jinx him because I like right? Demetrius. <laughs> Knock on wood. <laughs> Uh, definitely just one last question. want to get your take on uh, McGregor versus Diaz. Uh, kind of going into that fight, did you see that as a possibility, or, or how, how did you uh, see that fight going? I knew if it hit the ground, <clears throat> McGregor's going to be in trouble. Uh, Diaz, they're, they're just they're great down there. And I was actually a little surprised with uh, uh, McGregor's offense on his feet and Diaz's defense. I thought Diaz would have had a little bit better defense on his feet. He got tagged a little bit more than I thought. And I, I, was just, I was just surprised. So I didn't think the first round would quite go like that. I thought McGregor would have the advantage on the feet, but not, not as clearly as that. But uh, when it hit the ground, I, I pretty much well got off the couch and, and knew, the fight, knew the fight was over. <laughs> Uh, there you have it. Uh, Matt Hughes, thank you so much for the time, sir. Really, really appreciate it. Your fans definitely appreciate it. You're spending a lot of time with them today. And uh, as always, thank you very much. I really, really appreciate it, sir. Thank you.